love book besties and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be sharing with you 10 books that you need to add to your fall tbr when i was planning this video i wanted to do like a spooky season book because i love halloween but then i realized that i don't really read that many like spooky books and they're all kind of more just like fall vibes so i wanted to share my favorites with you guys I have a pretty large stack so let's get into them disclaimer i am absolutely terrible at describing books i cannot for the life of me articulate them in any way that doesn't sound like nonsense so i decided that it would be better if i just put like kind of plot points or like a mini blurb on the screen for you guys to read as i'm describing the vibes of the book and why i loved it so much since i'm incapable of talking about books that i love so first up we have got six crimson cranes by elizabeth Lim. this is an east asian mythology and it is a young adult fantasy that has kind of mystery in it and romance i read this one this month and it is probably one of my favorite books that I have read all year. I think that it is so good. It is so amazing. It has such a strong female main character and even the side characters, like all of them had such distinct personalities that it was just perfect. This was the kind of book that I literally could not put down. Like when I was drying my hair, I was reading this book. When I was eating, I was reading this book. Before I went to bed, I read this book. And when I woke up, yes, you guessed it right, I was reading this book. It has dragons and that is where I'm gonna end that. Then we have The Grace Year by Kim Lijet, and this is a very dystopian young adult sci-fi kind of book. This is basically like a gender-bent Lord of the Flies mixed with a little bit of The Hunger Games. When the girls turn 16, they send them away because they believe that they have some sort of magic inside of them and that they can seduce them and kind of get the men to do whatever they want, so they are sent away to get rid of this magic. Like I said, for the first 50 to 75 pages, I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it. It had a little bit more of a slower start Start. I wasn't really being like pulled in but by page 150 200 I was completely sucked into this world I was seeing a lot of people describe it as like very very empowering for women and I have to agree I think that toward the end of the story without giving anything away like I think toward the end of the story I was feeling very empowered as a female and I just loved seeing the growth that happened between these characters then we have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. What can I say about one of my favorite books ever? I mean, this is a book that I constantly find myself recommending. I am always talking about this book. I'm always discussing Nathaniel Thorne. If you know me or follow me on TikTok or Instagram or watch these videos, you know that I have mentioned Nathaniel Thorne, love of my life husband, boyfriend, everything. I have such a love for every character in this book and it is another young adult fantasy. I feel like fantasy is super duper fall, so this is a really great one to read. Then we have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins and this is a staple. I don't even think that I need to explain this. I think that everybody kind of knows what this book is about. We've got Katniss Everdeen, one of the strongest female main characters ever. This was another one that is very hard to put down. Once you get like into the story, you will immediately need the second and third book. Like it's just one that you cannot put down. Then we've got The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, and I love this book. This is a book that I feel like I do not recommend enough, but it is a young adult, like, sci-fi fantasy dystopian kind of book. Again, like The Hunger Games, it has those different kind of cast systems. So every person is given a color, and each color kind of signifies a different magic. I think that yellows can control electricity, the oranges can control mines, um, the reds can control fire, that kind of thing. And I eat that up every single time. Like, if there is a category in a book I love it like it's just it's just my thing and I'm obsessed with it this one is a little bit of a thicker one and it's almost at 500 pages but it's worth it this was a book that I picked up when I was having the Hunger Games hangover and I needed something to read that kind of gave me the same vibes and this was perfect then we've got Twilight by Stephanie Meyer and I know like this is so basic and everybody's read Twilight and they either love it or hate it I love Twilight I, I wouldn't even say that it's a guilty pleasure because I'm not like I don't feel guilty that I love it. I love vampires, like what can I say? Like I think that it's just so nostalgic and just so fun and just so easy to read as well that it's just perfect. Then we've got One of Us is Lying. I think that this is the only one in the stack that is not fantasy, um, but this is a young adult mystery thriller. Basically, a group of kids are put in detention and during detention, one of them dies. And each one of the people that were in detention is a suspect. So as you're reading this book, you're kind of finding out who did it and who ended up killing the other person that was in detention because it was kind of something that was done on purpose. This is what I remember as being my first ever young adult mystery thriller and I absolutely loved it. There's also a second book and I believe that there is a third one out. I did not read the third book yet, but the first and second book are so good. Next up is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. 
and this is so complicated <laughs> like explaining this book is so complicated because there's so much that happens and there's so much that goes on and it is the first dark academia book that i have ever read and it exceeded my expectations wildly and it was just it was it was one of my books of the year like it's one of those books that you literally cannot stop thinking about so basically six people are recruited to the alexandrian society and basically only five of them are able to like actually be inducted in the alexandrian society and one has to be eliminated so the whole book you're kind of trying to figure out which one is going to get eliminated while the characters also decide which one's going to get eliminated i have never read anything like this book ever and i cannot wait to read the second and third book Second to last book is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This was one of the best books that I read all year. It has romance, it has fantasy, it has mystery, and it just has such a beautiful love story and a beautiful plot that I just, I love it. If you're somebody who loves fantasy but wants to get into romance, this is the book for you. It's so beautifully written and the notes that they write to each other, the letters that they write to each other, like there are multiple times where I teared up because of how beautiful it is and it's just perfect. I am counting down the days until December when I can read the second book. And last but definitely not least is everyone's favorite Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. There's dragons what else can i say like it's so good this is another book that is kind of dystopian too it reminded me a lot of divergent and like i said i love my caste systems i love when people are like put into some sort of quadrant i I eat that up every single time. I think that this one is even better for the fall time because for those who are students or teachers or anybody that just kind of loves reading about like academia, this is set in a war college. So it's just perfect for that. Much like Divine Rivals, I am counting down the days until Iron Flame releases. I'm so excited. Well, those were 10 books that you should definitely add to your fall TBR. They are my favorite books that I love to read during fall and they just give me all the nice cozy vibes. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for supporting me. If you would like to connect with me on my other social media platforms, you can follow me on TikTok at Heartfelt Han, Instagram at The Heartfelt Library, or Goodreads at Heartfelt Han. I always try to keep you guys up to date more on Goodreads, like with page numbers and specifically what I'm reading at any given moment, so definitely check that out. I will see you guys soon. Bye!